Okay, this is a new setup uh, for the mechanical resonance experiments um, using magnets as the spring. That way we don't have any wear and tear in that area. And what I'm planning on doing for the pickup coil, I haven't really figured out the drive coil yet that's going to be next, is this is from a hard drive that moves the needle across your discs and I'm going to have to remake it because I'm using this old wheel um, and have it more like this where this magnet is north up and this one is south up so when they cross they'll both be producing current in the coil so I have to wind that. I'm going to have one coil on top and one coil on the bottom and then a small framework here that holds some magnets above in attraction to strengthen that field, concentrate that field between the magnets so the coil will be riding between that. So that should be very efficient. Um, we're going to give it a shot. And then on top of those magnets, if it works out, I use these little core pieces to connect the top of these magnets together to complete a circle where most all the flux will be between these magnets and the ones below. So we get the strongest flux I can produce with what I'm working with across these windings as it's going back and forth. I, I jumped into this setup because uh, in my mind I, I see I can make have more adjustability. Uh, I have a half inch magnet inside here and then I can apply more magnets back here um, like this big N52 with one of these planted to it right now. This is really really strong so that increases the field if I need to do that. And then I have this screw adjustment here that I can slide this base. It's half inch, uh, 3 8 inch plexi. That's from another project but it seems to be very very stable the way it's sitting. Um, I may have to make some braces from here to here. I have this carbon fiber tubing. Um, see if that works out. There's a slight vibration, especially when I have this uh, move forward really close. Uh, I have this magnet in here. Uh, this one's in attraction. And these are in repulsion to this one. Um, but this is going to give me more adjustability on... I, I could take these magnets out and spread them out and have a longer throw. Um, like here, I just get it to a point where it's going back and forth. I put uh, a little piece of reflective tape on there because I was testing the uh, how the frequency of how it was going back and forth. And surprisingly, with this type of spring, the way I have it at least, um, the frequency changes. Uh, with the amount of uh, vibration. So that's going to be different. Um, it's not going to be where I could just... I'm not sure yet. I haven't applied any input to it yet. But I'm just wondering which... how, how it's going to uh, react if I just put one frequency to it. Is it only going to move like this with uh, a higher frequency? Uh, do I have to change the frequency in order to get it running in full swing? Um, so that's something that uh, I'm going to have to mess with. And having these adjustabilities here um, is going to help a lot. Um, let's see. Now this, this setup with the magnet in the middle and attraction uh, swings around 1,500 or, or RPM, let's say. So I have to figure that out and what it's going to be in Hertz is way lower than that. This is very low frequency. Um, once I get the drive coil on there and hook up the scope to it, we'll see what it's doing. Um, I went with that just to see if... Because here it starts off around 450 Hertz or, or RPM, let's say, of this back and forth of this reflector. And as it slows down, that frequency increases to just over 500. Uh, I don't know how that's going to work here. Um, maybe if we're close on the frequency, it'll, it'll operate anyway. Um, 
because I know the tuning fork pretty much stays at pretty stable frequency um, no matter how far it's moving so this is something that we're going to have to work with here but I like the idea of using the magnets um, as the spring it spins for a long time this isn't all the way in yet let me see let that go you can see it like that Vibrates for a long time. Now, let me see, get this screwdriver off of these magnets. I have this bigger bit here for those screws, but it's attracted even stronger to it. So, we're going to just loosen this up and let's add in kind of hard to do it's still vibrating um, it's on all the way as close as I want it to be I'm not going to have it close to touching the wheel touching that down now the frequency is much higher now but she dies out a lot quicker so these things that uh, I like to see uh, some variety in what's going to go on I spread the magnets out how long is it going to go um, let's see th to have three spaces these are both uh, that magnet and this magnet are both opposing the uh, so if we give that a swing let's see, get it started at peak much lower frequency but farther throw so considering if I use a coil similar to this and it's just a little bit bigger so that the windings are right above the magnets at top dead center, uh, I think that's this configuration here is more likely what we're going to want to see. I'm not sure. I might even have two magnets right next to each other um, and just have it vibrating just that much to keep it in the flux but just changing direction both sides of these coils so I'll have these coils in parallel or series however I do it I have to make a bracket that's going to hold them in place and have the least amount of gap there as possible and then build these brackets to hold the top magnets and one for the bottom so we'll see how it works out okay that's the next step thanks